Okay, y'all. So I did say I was gonna do some spring cleaning today. I got to I got off to a late start, but y'all see all of this. I cannot stand this. And like when we first got into this apartment, it was like this. Like what what's what's going on? Like this stuff needs to be cleaned, and I just cannot stand it. Like I'm gonna be cleaning cabinets and stuff like that. That is the kind of spring cleaning I like to do. I like to get down to the nitty nitty gritty y'all and plus i will be doing uh talking about some shout outs at the end of this video and bed bugs so please stay tuned to the whole video thank you so much so what i'm gonna do is put some uh water on this towel and when i say deep clean i mean when i say spring cleaning um to me that that means the the stuff that you don't do every day okay not your everyday task okay so that is why i'm like going around stuff that i would never like, it's just sitting there, y'all. You know what I mean? Like, so that is when I say deep cleaning the stuff that you just really don't clean every day normally. So I'm going to take this towel, y'all. And I am going to sweep my bathroom out. But I'm going to take this towel. Look at this. Look how clean this is coming, y'all. This is terrible, though. And just go down here. Okay, y'all. So this is how it is looking around the... Around here, y'all. On the, up under the wall. Like, you know, this is the wall. And then you got this little floor like area right here and it was just bother me every time i would sit down and use restroom i would look at this and be like no this has got to be cleaned so i'm so so happy about that and now we're going to get to something else okay so now i'm going to go over these dirty cabinets this is the cabinet to the you know where you put all your tissue and stuff like that and it's just gross like no like this is what i call spring cleaning when you clean up all this stuff that you really usually don't do you know, just go and just clean up those areas that you don't normally clean. That's spring cleaning to me. That's like getting down to the nitty gritty of things, you know. So, yeah, so that is what I am doing. And I will show y'all this when I'm finished as well. Okay, so this is how it's looking. I'm still having to get stuff off of her, though. Because my daughter gets glue and all of this stuff everywhere. It's like, wow. But it's looking better than it did, y'all. Okay, so I'm going to get something else. Do y'all see how bad this is? I do not like my tub area looking. I mean, did I say tub? I mean, my um, stool area looking like this, okay? Like, so I'm going to get to the nitty gritty of, of this right here. So I'm going to just get up all of this dirt and grime. All of that, y'all, because I cannot stand this at all. All this hair, y'all, gets on my nerves. Like, hair be everywhere. Like, really, though. So, I'm just going to do the other side now. I cannot stand your dirt and grime build up. It just drives me out of my head, y'all. Sometimes you just have to get down on your knees, hands and knees, and, and scrub, you know? You know if you don't like it. I'm going to go ahead with my normal cleaning. Around my bathroom, all of that. I'm gonna make sure that you are cleaning up everything. Now, I'm not gonna show this part. I was just gonna go ahead and clean it up. Okay, y'all, I am back after that spring cleaning, y'all. And I do have other things I need to do, but I'm not going to put that on camera. But I'm so happy that you are joining me on Me Talk TV on today. Today, I did a little bit of spring cleaning. And y'all, now we're going to talk about the bed bugs. And that is something that you need to make sure that you are doing is cleaning up under your beds, all of that stuff, keeping the clutter out of the way because they are hiding in the clutter. Okay, so that is what I wanted to start off with. Um, and y'all know that there's three steps to getting rid of bed bugs. If you have, if you don't know, and you're just now coming in, then come on in and listen, y'all listen to what I'm saying, because you will be bed bug free. If you will implement this, listen, and just take the steps that I took to get rid of them. I will be back. So if you want to see that, then just follow me. 
Okay, so I'm so excited because we have some shout outs on today, comments and all of that. And it is from my number one commenter. I'm so glad that you comment all the time, but let's get back to it. The steamer, the alcohol, and also the baking soda are the three steps to take to get rid of bed bugs permanently. Finito, they're gone, they're out of your hair, they're out of your life, they're nowhere to be around, okay? Nowhere to be found is what I was trying to say. Um, so those are the three steps that you need to take. And also I will have all three of those linked down in the description. So go down there and get what you need so you can push and punch and do all you can to get rid of these bed bugs because listen, they are eating on you at nighttime and I know you don't like that. So go ahead and go down in the description once the video is over and get your hands on your steam or your alcohol and your baking soda. Those three things are, per I mean, listen, when I tell y'all those three things are what's going to get rid of them, those are the three things to get rid of these bed bugs. They're going to be gone out of your life. Okay. And when I say permanently, I mean, don't let nobody come in your house with them. Okay. I mean, watch your surroundings when you go somewhere, look down, look around, make sure that there's nothing crawling by you. Okay. That's what I mean when you want to keep them out of your life permanently. Okay. Um, going to hotel rooms, getting in, in strangers' cars, doing all of that. You need to be aware of your surroundings, looking around, make sure nothing's on you and, and nothing's crawling, okay? That's what I'm talking about when I say permanently, okay? So I have not had them in my life for some years now, and I'm so, so excited because I have not let anything come in my life like that anymore. No more bed bugs in my life because I have been watching my surroundings, watching where I go, like to the hotel rooms, uh, and I haven't been any any ubers or anything like that so i didn't have to worry about that no lifts or anything like that or cabs or anything so thank god for that but i do want to do these shout outs on today i'm so so excited thank you out there for all your comments all your likes every Thing that you do I am so happy if you subscribe if you hit that notification bell everything that you do I really greatly appreciate it now I just need y'all to do one thing and one thing only that is to please if you can kind of watch these um ads because this is how we get paid so please just please just watch the ads for me I, I would greatly appreciate that so I'm so so happy on today y'all let's get this thing started and these are the newest comments that I have on today. Um, let's see. It's Roxanne Matthews. And this is the one that comments all the time. Thank you so much. Um, Matt, Roxanne Matthews Baker says, I need to spring clean as well. Yes, y'all. I consider spring cleaning as, you know, just the cleaning that you normally don't do every day. Okay, because if you're cleaning every day, why would you need to go spring clean in those areas? No, you need to be clean, clean in areas that you don't clean every day. Okay, like for instance, what I was cleaning the uh, floorboards or whatever you want to call it. Yes, that. Okay, um, because they looked at really, really nasty. Now, I'm in the living room right now and they don't look as bad as they did in the restroom. I'm like, and I would hate every time I would use the restroom, I would see that and like, that's got to go. And also spring cleaning can consist of your, your stove as well, your oven, because a lot of times we don't just go in and we don't just clean those areas like that. We don't, we just look over that. And so that is another form of spring cleaning as well. Um, microwaves, you should be doing microwave every week. You should be doing your refrigerator every week. Um, all of that. So stuff that you don't normally clean, like your cabinets, all of that stuff, that is spring cleaning to me. Okay. Um, stuff, like I said, that you don't do normally every day, but we're going to get back to the comments. And Roxanne says, again, I'm waiting to see them leave in 24 hours. You are, you are the same way I am. Okay. Cause I haven't seen bed bugs leave in 24 hours. I'm still waiting on that. Like, where is it? What, when is it going to come? Um, but I promise you, if I find that out, I will be the first to tell you how to get rid of them in 24 hours. Um, and then, then she says, hey, girl, I just really appreciate y'all's comments out there. Okay. So she just says, hey, girl, with, uh, you know, all of that. So I'm so, so excited. Like I said, y'all keep those comments coming because every time y'all leave a comment or y'all have a question, that gives me a chance to do the videos because I don't want to answer your comments. Sometimes I do. I'll go down in the comment section. I'll answer it there. But I also want to pull it up and shout you out on the comments. I mean, you know, my video. So I love to do it that way because it gives me a chance to really 
dig in and get into my comments and be like, you know what I'm saying? Why not just shout y'all out? I think that would be absolutely amazing because y'all taking the time out to leave me a comment. So I might as well go ahead and just shout you out on here and go ahead and answer your question and read your comments. So I'm so, so excited on today. Y'all, today is Monday, Marvelous Monday. And I do this on my other channel, um, Brown Diamond Arena. Marvelous Monday, y'all. I'm so, so excited, y'all. Please join me on my other platforms. I do have a platform that's... uh brown brown diamond yes it's just brown diamond and that's on instagram also i have um women over 40 fitness with rena also brown diamond rena and uh inspirational moments tv so please 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 join me on those other channels you will love it okay um if you have not already hit that subscribe button what are you waiting for go ahead hit that subscribe button so you can learn all there is to know how to get rid of these bed bugs and also share this with your family and friends listen you don't know who out there might need this help who out there might be trying to get rid of these bugs before they get any worse in their home listen because it can turn into a infestation and that's going to be devastation okay you don't want no infestation because you don't want that devastation so go ahead and and just go down there get your steamer and i also have that steamer that i told y'all it's the i think it's the 10 in one um it's a mop like so you can mop your floors as well um but you can steam your your rugs and all of that to get you know so you can get down to the nitty gritty these things if you don't want to take the handheld and go around on the floor because i've been on my knees y'all this is how bad i was getting wanting to get rid of these bugs it's getting down on my knees with the handheld and doing it like that y'all because i was trying to get rid of the eggs and all so that is how you do that i love you guys please continue to watch also like I said, please share these videos because people out there really need it. Um, go up in that card section on each any side and watch a new video. And if you watch this one all the way to the end, you will have another video waiting on you. Be blessed and I'll see you next time.